What is up, all you literary femmes and gents? It's your girl Deja, and I am back with the Brent. How was how was the camera already dying? I literally I said part of my introduction. Now the light is flashing red. You whore. The next day. Okay, so let's try this again. Um, I just gave up yesterday because one, I couldn't find my charger, the port thingy that goes in the wall, and then two, like the sun went down, and I was just like, you know what? I'll just film this tomorrow. So here we are, whole new look, whole new outfit. <laughs> if you guys read the title, you guys know that we're going to be doing our maid thon round two. And this time, it is called Gods of the Sea. So every single prompt is going to be named after a god or goddess of the sea. I'm super excited. It's going to be great. I'm going to throw up the map right here. Um, I don't know if this is my left or right because camera's reflection my brain does not function that way. So it's going to be right here, right? And we're just going to go through the prompts real quick. So as you guys can see that it is a map. And so how you read the map, I'm going to be looking at it on my phone, is that you read it from the bottom to the top. So you start at Poseidon and then you make your way up to the top and then that's how you complete your challenges. So over the course of the 10 days, your goal is to read five books. Of course, you can double up on challenges if you want to, but five challenges is what you will be required to do. So the prompt for Poseidon is read a host pick. So I'm going to tell you what the host picks are. So Fernando's host pick is this Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. I am personally a big fan of this Savage Song. I was a, it was a book that I read for the Hot Mess Book Club. It was great. That was my first Victoria Schwab book. And the characters, the plot, the world building, everything was and the ending was, was wonderful. Focus. Focus. Right here. There you go. And the ending was spectacular. So if you guys picked that one, you guys are in for a fantastic ride. Valerie's host pick is Into the Drowning Deep by Mira Grant. Heather's host pick is Carvel Caraval. Caraval, Caraval, I, don't, I still don't know how to pronounce that word. Caraval by Stephanie Garber. And then my host pick is Every Heart of Doorway by Shawnee McGuire. So I've been meaning to pick up this book in this actual series for a very long time. So I figured, why not? It's short. Um, it's a 10-day readathon. This is definitely something that I could finish in like a day or two if I needed to because it's literally like only just over 100 pages. So moving our way up, the next level of prompts is we have Triton and Palemon. Triton's prompt is to read a book outside. So, you know, I realized that in some places it's like snowing ridiculously so you know just outside your house whether like at a coffee shop um at walmart in your car with the heater on for those like i said for those of you that are like in places where it's snowing um please don't sit outside and get sick while reading a book because it will make me sad the prompt for palemon is to read a book while eating your favorite snack so i don't know about you guys i am not necessarily like the biggest fan of eating while i'm reading a book because a lot of the things that i like to eat tend to leave residue and it would just like twist my nips if i just flip a page and then all of a sudden i move my fingers and there's like a spot there i would so jumping up to the next level, we have Fetus, Keto, and Nerys. And I'm not going to lie, I may be pronouncing, mispronouncing all these names. You guys already know, I'm not good with names. And a lot of these names are Greek, so I'm not Greek. I'm doing the best I can. So for Thetes, we have uh, read a predicted five-star book. Pretty self-explanatory. For Keto, we have read an LGBTQ plus book. Always a fun one. And then for the Nereids, Nereids, Nereids? I think it's Nereids. It's to buddy read a book. So, you know, we have a thing on Twitter. So if you go to our Twitter page and you go underneath the information, there is a spot for you guys to find somebody to buddy read a book with. You guys can talk about it. You know, mingle with the other fishes out there. So jumping up to the next level, we have Amphitrite T. Amphitrite, amph I'm pretty sure I misspelled that. I'm just now looking at this and I'm like, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I misspelled that. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Amphitrite T. I'll go back and fix that. Um, and Narius. For Amphitrite, it is to read a book with a parent-child relationship. And then for Narius, it's to read a book with a friendship in it. So a lot of times in like YA, books, particularly in like fantasy or sci-fi or even a lot of times in contemporary, 
Um, the parents are either conveniently not in the picture or the parents are conveniently dead. Um, and they're like just, you know, absent in the entire book because it's all about, you know, young people. So I kind of wanted to encourage finding books that have like the parents be like a present factor in the books. Right? But if you can't find those, there are hundreds of thousands of books out there that have friendships. And then the very top level is Proteus, Aphrodite, and Pallas. Pallas? I'm going to go with Pallas because that sounds less like Dallas. Alright, so Proteus is to read a classic book. Aphrodite is to read a romance book. Of course, you know, the goddess of love and wisdom. And then Pallas is to read a fantasy book. So again, you guys just make your way up. And in case you were wondering, um... No, you don't necessarily have to, like, read your books in order, like, you don't have to jump from tier to tier, but you can't, you know, go from one prompt to a prompt that's not touching the one before it. Let me explain. So if I'm on Triton, I can't do the Nereus. I can't buddy read a book because Triton is only touching Thetis and Keto. If I'm on the Nereids, I can't do Amphitrite. I can only do Nereids because that's the one that's touching. So you make your way up that way. Again, you don't have to read them in order, but the way that you progress and the prompts that you pick, it has to be a path that you can actually follow. And I just realized I didn't even tell you when this readathon is happening. So this readathon is happening from January 22nd to the 31st. It is a 10-day readathon. There are five prompts. So we wanted to make it a little bit longer and cut down a little bit on the prompts so that it was like a little bit better for people like me who read at the pace of a sloth. It is what it is and there's nothing wrong with it. So whatever time um, January 22nd starts, 12 a.m. your time is when you start reading and then January 31st, 1159 is when we finish and then we'll be jumping straight into February. There are a whole bunch of wonderful romance and um, black history inspired readathons I just can't wait for. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. All the information for the readathon as well as the link to the other hosts will definitely be down in the description below. If you guys are going to be participating in my readathon round two, let me know down in the uh, comment section down below. Also, we are going to be doing round three sometime during 2020. Let us know when you guys would prefer that we do that. Like something more in the spring, something more in the summer, the fall, when winter rolls around. Let us know because we like having your guys' input on what we do so that we can make this readathon better and more fun every single time. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to, you can subscribe to my channel for more content from moi. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!